nobody prepared me for this. I'm feeling kind of like I should have had, like my parents should have talked to me about this because I didn't have, I wasn't prepared for these other feelings, which would you yeah. describe? Well, I can speak for myself. I've been so busy just caring for her and going to all of her practices and games and just, you know, everything was really revolving around her. And then all of a sudden that's over. Mm. We saw your video. Yeah. We loved it. Oh. And, and, and it was like so timely because apparently our kids are the same age. Your daughter, it's your only daughter, right? Yeah. Right. She is the same age as our youngest son, and mm -hmm. they both graduated high school this year and are off doing magical things, apparently. What, what is your daughter going to do? So, you know, I had very specific uh, guidelines after she graduated from high school. I was very specific about she was going to go to Howard. She was going to pledge Delta. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Right. I mean, I just had the whole thing laid out, right? <laughs> right? And then she let me know that she did not want to go to college. Okay. Okay. That's how I said it. <laughs> just like that. Okay. <laughs> 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 and uh, she said that she wanted to do, she wanted to be a stunt woman in Hollywood. Ooh. And, you know, because I'm in Hollywood, that's, you know, that's not a far-fetched thing. We have lots of friends that do that. Mm -hmm. And, you know, she's always been a bit of a, an adrenaline junkie. And she's, you know, she's an expert equestrian. And, you know, I was still really pushing the college thing. And two weeks after she graduated from high school, uh, she you know, booked her first stunt job. And then um, she she's doubling Aisha Taylor in Fear the Walking Dead. Awesome. And so, she was, so she was there for two weeks and now she's going back in eight days and she'll be there until December. That's fantastic. That's awesome. Where's there? But where's there, by the way? Where does she? Texas. She's okay. going to be in Texas. So she's off. Wow. She, she, yeah, she took the flight. She's off somewhere. Yeah. I love it. That's yeah, fantastic. Yeah. That is awesome. So, so I literally had to just um, trust the not knowing part. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because uh -huh. uh -huh. I really felt, I really felt like you know, if she goes to Howard, she's she's going to be learning how to navigate through the world, but she's gonna have a pack of girls around her and a pack of young, you know, like they're they're all going to be growing at the same time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I felt more comfortable with that. Um, right. But it's not my life to live. Mm -hmm. And so, and she, she loves it. I mean, I say, so, you know, hey, go with God, baby girl. That's right. <laughs> That's fantastic. Now, before we go further, I want to play the first half of the video. Okay. Okay. So hang loose. This is awkward. So my kid just graduated from high school. And although we did celebrate, it's a bit unsettling as well. Primarily because my entire life has been about this one little lioness. Everything I am, everything I've had, I've poured it into her. And uh, she's incredible. She's like this this young eaglet standing on the edge of the nest and she's testing her wings and it's it's beautiful and it's also frightening mm -hmm. <laughs> suddenly I'm aware that well damn this kid's about to take off and what are you going to do with your life now? What you going to do? What will you focus on? Ah, it was 
<laughs> so transparent and honest. Yes, absolutely. And con- like Aww. you're not by yourself. That's the thing. We had the same. You know what? We got so excited. We were so excited because we had three kids. It's our third that was leaving to yeah. go off to college this year. And she was so excited about the idea of empty nesting. And, and like what that what that would mean, how far we could go, we could go where we want. Blah, blah, blah. But I know for a fact, and I admitted this, I think before she did, was that I, I'm excited about that freedom. But I was like, nobody prepared me for this. I'm feeling kind of like I, I should have had like my parents should have talked to me about this. I didn't have I wasn't prepared for these other feelings, which would you yeah. describe? Yeah, I think you're. Well, I can speak for myself. I've been so busy just caring for her and going to all of her practices and games and just, you know, everything was really revolving around her. And then all of a sudden that's over Mm. and there hasn't been an adjustment period at all. (laughs) And you know, it's so interesting about that video. I had been, f- I've been, had, I've been carrying that with me when I um, learned that she was going to be moving to Texas, mm-hmm. and uh, it was just kind of heavy on my heart. Like I was feeling just depressed in a way, and then I just sat down and said it, and I, I sent that video or I posted that video at 3 a.m. in the morning or something like that. And if I had gotten some sleep, I probably wouldn't have posted it the next morning. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Probably. (laughs) I was like, girl, that's a little bit too real. (laughs) (laughs) All your business out there now. But you know what I mean? It was just like in that moment, it just felt like, I, the question that I asked is any, anyone else was the question that I wrote in the caption because I did want to, f- I did want to f- feel that it's not just me. And what I discovered was that so many people experience this mm-hmm. are either going through it now or they've been through it. And it's a much bigger emotional journey than we've been led to believe. Yeah. I remember watching this fun commercial when I was younger and the kid was moving to college and the parents were like measuring his room for you know, like this, <laughs> don't, like, like, you know what I mean? Like that was the joke yeah. is yep. that he was like, well, I'm going to college. And they were like, we going to miss you, son. And then they're measuring his room. Uh, but yeah, so I, I didn't quite know that I was going to be impacted in this way. And, mm-hmm. and that video for me was just, I don't know, maybe a cry for help in some way, because so many people responded to it and said, me too, I'm going through the same exact thing, just like you be. You just said, oh my God, my baby just went to college, <laughs> you know? So yeah. You know, what about thing- you guys? How has it been for you? One of the things that's different about yours and ours is, we had this ramp down. So like our yeah. daughter already is, she's a grown person living in the world now. Yeah. Right. So she left for college. She knocked college out the box. And while she was gone, there's six, seven years between her and her brother. So right. they were still, we still had kids at home. Right. So now we're at the end of that ramp. And the kids we, are back to back. These two are back to back. Right. So it's like, you know, one leaves and then the other leaves. Now our, our middle child decided like your child, He didn't want to go to college, so he's still living with us. So we're not totally empty or empty nesting yet. But our last child, yeah, we just dropped him off at college. And for me, I was the one who was like, all right, this room that you just moved out of is great. It loved the light. I think I'm going to use this for my office. So make sure that you take all the things that you want with you. And so... Once he left, it was like, the not the next day, but when we came back from dropping him off, I remember walking into his room and thinking to myself, this feels different than I thought it was going to feel. Like, it's extremely quiet in here. Not like the quiet that, you know, okay, he needs to clean his room and when he gets back, he'll clean it. It's quiet like he's not coming back quiet. It's a different quiet. Right, right. Yeah. Yes, that's that's the quiet. That's the quiet part that is... That's unsettling. Like, you know, she's, she's excited. She's 
you know, packing up and she, you know what I mean? And I'm mm-hmm, like, mm-hmm. okay. <laughs> you, know, <it's, laughs> you know, and I'm trying not to be a Debbie Downer. That's a big thing, you know. I don't want to rain on her parade. Uh-huh. So there's a lot of pretending going on with that. You go get them, babe. <laughs> <laughs> now, did you go down with her? Did when well, she left, actually, did you go with her and then leave her no, there? No, so she doesn't leave. No, she so she does not leave until uh, she leaves in uh, on the tenth. Okay, so okay. she's got she's got about eight more days to go. So on that show, they no longer have gasoline. The storyline of the show, they don't have gasoline, so they. Um, ride horses. So she's basically going to be there doubling Aisha, but she's also going to be taking our two horses uh, to what? work as well. So what? Yeah. Which is really interesting. So, uh, you know, I've had horses all my life and this is the first time that, that any of them have ever had a job. So I'm like, <laughs> yeah, go ahead, take them, take them, take them all, you know? <laughs> so she, so uh, a very good, good friend of mine who's like her, you know, her auntie, Mm -hmm. she, uh, used to do rodeos. Uh, she was one of the very first black women to really do well in the national rodeo circuit. So they're going to drive down together so she can teach her how to travel like that distance with live animals. I mean, there's a, there's a whole thing to it. So they're going to, so when she leaves the house, she's going to be gone. Wow. yeah. Do you have other horses or are you losing the horses and your daughter and there's no horses I'm left? I'm losing either? the horses um, and my daughter. And uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Like I said, not I'm losing, trying to figure just, it out. What am I going to be doing? Lending out for a little while. Yeah, I'm sorry. Lending out lending. for a little while. Not losing. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Like I do anticipate going to the gym more. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I do know that that will be happening. Like, and I'm actually looking forward to that because, you know, when you're a parent, oftentimes, uh, oh, I can speak for myself. Oftentimes I would put myself at the bottom. Absolutely. Of the, you know, sort of like, and if I have time, I will do a little self care. Yep. Mm-hmm. So it's going to be really fantastic i think to actually have an opportunity to put myself first and in in, in terms of health and again like what i envision for myself in terms of the future and what i want to create i haven't even thought about those things yeah that's fantastic the door is opening i could be wrong it seems like you're turning on the camera more speaking of going to the gym you did the whole time lapse of walking to the gym (laughs) Which is not, that's not easy. You got to set up the camera and then go back and then walk it. Because I'm a geek like that, B. Uh, Okay, so look, I never planned it to be this thing, right? But so many people responded to it. And my friends, so I'm moving into directing. Directing is um, sort of the next frontier for me. Because I really do want to make a difference in the community. And I feel telling stories uh, about black and brown people is how I can make a difference in that area. Mm -hmm. So anyway, my friend who is already directing, she was like, girl, the first thing you're going to direct is this. It's like, you're going to tell this story. Mm. And I said, "Uh, okay, I guess, I guess I will. So that's how that sort of started was my friend was like, honey, you, she's like, so many people are going through this. You, you have to tell this story. Mm. Because this is the first time I've heard about it, right? We know about right. postpartum depression, right? Mm-hmm. That's a big mm-hmm. thing. We know yeah. about it. We've watched the documentaries. We know to expect it. <laughs> I knew there was a thing called em- emptiness syndrome. I just didn't really understand the emotional toll. Makes sense. And yep. so that's how, that, that's how that started. Yeah, it's a big deal. Hey, yeah, it is a big deal. And hey, do you guys remember when 50s was like literally one foot in a grave? Like, are you 50? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Won't be here much longer. <laughs> remember? remember? Yes, I, like, do. Oh, yes yeah. I do. Yes, I do. And now I'm actually looking at it 
or I'm calling it the back 50. What am Mm. I going to do for the back 50? Right. And I literally said to my mom and dad, I went to visit my parents and I said, how many years do I have before I can't? Mm. They said, "Mm, you got about 15, 20. (laughs) I said, that's, I, Come on, that's a couple of 10,000 hours in there. I could master anything <laughs> within yeah. that time. <laughs> that's right. I literally was like, bet, I got that. That's going to be great. So, and in the age of the yeah. internet, everything is faster anyway. Oh, yeah. So you're right. Absolutely. And your ideas will travel faster. So maybe your ideas things. will travel faster. Absolutely. Absolutely. What are what? you guys planning to do with your back 50? Mm. <sighs> Come on, y'all want to go for that one more? You guys want to go for one more? Oh, hell no. Oh, no. Oh, no. (laughs) A dog racing horses? (laughs) I can't even commit to a dog. No, I can't. Hell no. (laughs) We would need like a solid decade before we commit to a dog. No. I'm looking at plants like, nah, I can't commit. (laughs) Yeah, no. (laughs) Oh, you want one or twice a week? Nah. Right. Thank you for kicking absolutely. it off. Like you definitely kicked the door open. Uh, I appreciate that. We absolutely uh, appreciate that. And you took my call, uh, well, which is even better. Us. Well, of course, B. Come on now. You know that H you love. That's real. <laughs> <laughs> that's when I found out Jamie was H U. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> love you, girl. Thank you so love much. Love you too. Thank you. Thank you. All thank right. you. Appreciate it. <laughs> Y'all take care. Bye-bye. Thank you. You too.